today I will show you the NeoVim setup for me. Um, so we start with the init. In my init file I basically only have everything separated and coming together. So we can start with the plugins file. So a basic overview about my plugins. The first section here is just um, for installing it if I don't have it installed yet. So I do this because I tend to use Linux on my Windows machine and then um, Pekka install itself. So the first call will be Pekka. Then I use Groovebox as a theme. One Dark and Tokyo Night also as the theme. Um, light line for this status bar. And then blank lines to um, remove blank lines at the end of the line. And of course I use Telescope with the Fuzzy Finder native plugin just to navigate through the files. Then I use um, TreeSitter for the highlighting stuff of the code. Neo Formatter is for formatting the files that they look pretty. This section here, nvim LS lsp config and so is for the lsp client that I have autocomplete. In this section I do stuff for the web development, so I get um, the emit function and auto pairs and stuff like this. Here are some things for the auto autocomplete um, that I can like get suggestions from tab 9, from the buffer, from path. And here I have like some little play things um, for snippets, uh, also GitHub Copilot, but I never use it. And this section is for NVM3 that um, I can have like some file explorer. Here I have my Git setup that I can commit changes and push them. Um, this one is for the comments that I can like comment out some specific part of the code. And this one is like some little previewer for Markdown if I like sometimes edit a github readme or something like this and now we come to the set files so in the set files i basically just have like some preferences like um that it's no splitting that there's always like four tabs i don't want a swap file to be created um after highlight search i want it to not be highlighted anymore i don't want any wrapping I want to see the number of the left side. I want these numbers to be relative. I don't want an undo file. I don't care how I search, so everything should be ignored. I want to have like some off scrolling from the sides and top and bottom. Here I remove the background of it and edit the color scheme. Here I created that I can use one dark theme for my background. Here I set the color column at 80s characters so I don't um, write my code so long and set my color scheme. This one is for enabling the emit part of it but I did it in Lua snippet already and here I added the light line that it matches my theme. Now we go to the LSP config. This one are the basic LSP commands which you can have. You can take a look of it but it's, um, I think, pretty basic from the documentation. It's just like for go to definition, hover for information, remove, rename, code actions. Then these ones are the servers which I installed that the LSP can listen to. Here I loop over every server I have and um, attach them to my LSP client. This is some basic setup for the... Um, for the Lua client and some basic setup for the emit part that emit is started at HTML, CSS, SCSS and so on. This is the basic setup for the Lua client that has also the Vim globals in it. Now we come to the key maps. Here I remap the leader key. This part is for yanking to your clip to your clipboard on the machine. Some basic window commands like splitting, moving the windows and so on. These are the key maps to open my git commands. These are the window resizing commands. And this one are like some custom made for formatting and for sourcing some files. Now we come to my Lua snippet file. These are some basic calling that it's um, lazy loading from VS Code. Uh, here I'm adding some icons that it's look prettier. This one is um, 
making the LSP expand. Here I can select the items with control K and J, completing the item. Here I can close the succession box if I want to. Um, confirming the selected item so it also auto imports. This one is making the tab key to go to the next succession also. Here we have the same thing just with shift tab so we can go to the previous item. Um, some formatting things that um, I can get displayed like the CMP from tab 9, the native LSP snippets, the path and the buffer things. Here I can select the sources and name them. Some customizing for the window property that it looks prettier. And there we have some experimentals which are not up to date anymore. Now we come to the git science. The top part of the git science is just from the documentation. I just copied and pasted it in. And here are some useful key maps from it, um, like staging, resetting the hunk, um, going to some information, delete it and reset it. And now we have tree sitter setup. The tree sitter setup is also just copy pasted from the documentation. Now we have telescope setup. Um, telescope is also just copy pasted. This one is just like for sorting it differently. Here I can ignore some files like the node modules. I don't want to see them in my telescope. This one is enabling the fuzzy finder plugin from before. Here I load the fuzzy finder plugin from before. This is some custom calls that I can always like telescope into my nvim file. I use the telescope buffers. Telescope find files, telescope current buffer fuzzy finding, telescope help text, git branches, search dot files, LSP document symbols, live grab, some to do telescope plugin which displays me all the to dos I have to do, and the built in functions. In the nvim comment, I just loaded the TypeScript context common strings. Now we come to the auto command files. The first one is just to highlight what you was yanking. And there we have the blank character displays. This one is making any Go file run automatically. This one is always reloading the plugins file if you save some some nvim config. And here we enable the snippets for Lua snippets. And this global p function is just for local development that I can display the tables better. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will put a link to my GitHub repository in the description and I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe.